What is going on, buddy? Welcome back here today to another NBA 2K19 trading rebuild. And this one I never thought I was going to end up doing. And it is a trading LeBron James Lakers rebuild. Also, shout out to my hair being grown back. It's been a long journey. Um, I got my head shaped by a barber. Long story. I probably announced in the video when it happened. It was on like October 30th or like November 1st. One of those days. I think it was like October 30th. And yeah, my head got shaved. And it was just like an accidental thing. My hair's back now. I'm just happy it is. It took a while though. Oh my god, it's been like five months. But yeah, enough about my hair. LeBron rebuild. Never thought I was gonna be doing this. You guys have kind of requested you wanted to see this, and I'm down for it. Um, also, you guys have been requesting like a LeBron James Jr. or whatever his name is, Bronny, whatever his son's name is, rebuilds in the future. And I'm probably gonna be doing that soon. I don't know if it's gonna be with the Lakers. Might be with a different team. Um, and then I'm gonna do a realistic Miami Heat rebuild. I think on Sunday, you're going to see that, and then you're going to see a Taco Fall rebuild tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you happy? Now, if I was the Lakers, or if I'm the Lakers, I'm not trading LeBron. I don't think there's, I think there's a 0, 0, like, 0.1% chance. That wouldn't make sense. A 0.0001% chance. They would trade him. Uh, we have the 14th pick here, um, because start today is still broken, so I had to simulate from the regular season. We're going to fire Luke Walton. It's probably going to happen in real life. Ooh, can I get Pop? Give me some Popovich. Um, sadly, I mean, Luke Walden, he was fine last year. They didn't have a problem. Maybe it's the whole LeBron gets coaches fires, whatever thing. But do I think LeBron should get traded? No. You should try to get another star around him. Now, you're going to have cap space if you trade the young guys, if you don't. So, if you can get Anthony Davis, you do it. If you don't, I would maybe call up Washington. Maybe try to get Bradley Beal. If not... I think the Lakers should go after two free agents that I think are kind of realistic for them to get. One being Jimmy Bauer, two being Nikola Vucevic. They do really need a center desperately. And after trading their only startable really one in Zubats, possibly the dumbest move this year by any team was trading him for Mike Muscala. They're kind of out, have a hole there. Now, you're going to have Lonzo fully healthy starting next year, hopefully. You're going to have Ingram. You're going to have Kuzma. You're going to have LeBron. Um, and then maybe you can have a Vucevic or a Jimmy Butler at the two or the five. And then you can maybe think about, do we like Kuzma or do we like Ingram more? And then maybe try to field offers for one of the other two, or for one of the two guys, and then try to get maybe a center with one or an upgrade at the two. So for this video though, we are going to be trading LeBron. I don't know for what yet. Um, we're going to see what it's going to be for, but we do have the 14th pick. Cam Johnson, my UNC boy. Didn't know he's rated this high. He is a senior too, so he's a little bit older. Should I get him or Hachimura? Let's get Cam Johnson. I haven't really got him yet. Um, he's a senior. I don't think he'll go in the lottery in real life. I could see him being like from 17 to like 23 range, uh, depending maybe on how he does in the tourney. So we're going to sign him, and now we're going to trade LeBron. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to throw him on the trade finder. Please tell me I can. Okay, I get five offers. Jason Tatum would be kind of funny seeing LeBron in a Celtics jersey and Jason Tatum on the same team as Ingram. Uh, we can get Trey Young and Cam Reddish. I'll probably pass on that one. We can get DeMar DeRozan and Keldon Johnson from Kentucky. We can get Paul George and Steven Adams. Might do this one. Might get Paul George to LA. Um, oh, okay. Now we're doing this trade. LeBron James is going to be a Portland Trailblazer. And we're going to be getting Damian Lillard and Yusuf Nurkic. Yes, sir. Okay. So, realistically, if the Lakers were like, all right, we'll think about trading LeBron. Realistic, like, what team would give, like, offer LeBron or offer a trade for LeBron? Like, Phoenix? Maybe Phoenix would give up like the second overall pick and like bring LeBron in, but no, I think there's a zero percent chance LeBron gets traded. That would just be the NBA is just like that would just be the most chaotic thing ever if LeBron got traded. So I don't think it's gonna happen, but we're doing this for a fun fantasy rebuild um, scenario purpose today. So now we have Damian Lillard, which now Lonzo is he gonna be expendable or we could play Lillard at the two? He's a little bit smaller to play the two, so we could have Lonzo. Like maybe Lillard just not be the ball handler like Lonzo could be but on defense Lonzo will guard obviously the taller dude but Lonzo will run the point on offense could do something like that so now um I don't know who I'm gonna move because I mean we do have Nurkic who's a startable center so we have like one two three four five six seven eight we actually have a decent team but we also I think do have a max slot still Clay Thompson I mean Clay and Dil Damian Lillard would be pretty fun um if I'm looking for KD would be something else, but I don't think we can afford KD. Yeah, he's not gonna come here. Uh, Kawhi did not make it. Okay, yeah, this isn't start today. Um, I'm trying to think. Like Tobias Harris would be interesting. Kendra Russell, yeah. Um, I don't think obviously he's a restricted free agent. Butler, Kyrie, I'm gonna offer, but I don't think we have enough money for Kyrie Irving, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. So 
I don't know. Like, obviously, I could move maybe Ingram um, and then move Kuzma to the three, or I could move Kuzma and get, like, kind of a true power forward. I'll see. All right, I don't really like some of these offers I was getting for Ingram. I'm going to look at Kuzma's offers now. He's on a nicer contract, but he is 23 already, so we'll see what I can get. Eric Butts will be cool, but we're kind of stacked there. I'm looking really for a power forward. Kevin Love would be interesting. Um... I guess as our top scorers next year, we're going to pretty much have Lillard and Ingram. So we could look for kind of a third option. Um, at the four, Rudy Gobert. I mean, I don't think I could play Nurkic there. Isaac, eh, he's just not good enough in 2K, I think. Miles Turner would be cool, but we already have Nurkic. And I want to use Nurkic. Damn, not really getting a good power forward option. Like, I could wait until, like, Randall or somebody else signs. We could do this trade and just become the Portland Lakers. Draymond. Draymond's interesting. I, I might do Draymond. I might get Draymond. Just kind of a true, a more power forward and defensive minded guy. Because we don't really need Kuzma scoring that well. Um, and damn, he did play well for us. Huh. Unless I keep Kuzma and trade Ingram. I don't know. Now I'm torn. Alright, what I think I'm going to do here is I'm just going to sign some like, kind of like, sixth man or somebody good. Like Middleton coming off the bench would be pretty fire. He only wants 18 mil. So I'm going to actually offer Middleton a deal and see if he comes back. And then I'm going to think about when some of these guys sign. Ooh, KCP. I'll bring, um, I'm going to try to bring KCP back, too. Uh, so, we're going to renounce the right on Rondo. Yeah. Bullock. I might need Rondo. But, uh, we're going to have to renounce the right on KCP, it looks like. Um, all right. So, let me sign Middleton, and then we'll uh, address this team now. So, Middleton. Tobias did not sign yet. I actually kind of would like Tobias, so I might wait to see where he signs. Um, and Tobias signed where? In Utah. Okay. So, say hypothetically... We offered Kyle Kuzma for um, for Tobias Harris. Would they? We would take too much. Damn. Okay. Uh. All right. What about Ingram? We could do this. We could do Ingram for Tobias, but I wouldn't really want to do that. I kind of want to move Kuzma, or we can roll with. You know what? We'll roll with Kuzma. So right now, um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay. You know what? We'll make this work. I'll figure out how we're going to do the rotations. I'll see you guys at training camp. Damian Lord, is he from LA? Or maybe LA was the team he said he would want to play for if it wasn't Portland. I'm just saying. I am just saying. Say Portland walks into the playoffs as the four seed, right? Say I think they're the four seed right now. I believe they're the four seed. And they get swept by, say it's the Spurs, say it's the Thunder, say it's the Clippers in round one, or say it's Utah. Say they get swept or they lose in five and it's another first round exit for Portland. Do you think they'll ever address the... I mean, Lillard has been so loyal, I don't think they'll ever move him, even if they just keep losing in round one. But I think if that happened, they would have to break up that those two. Um, like I'm saying for Lillard, you can maybe start a rebuild. I wouldn't be surprised if the Lakers would give you Kuzma Ball and their first round pick for him. I wouldn't be surprised if the Lakers would do that. But I don't think the, t the Trailblazers would want to move him. I mean, I don't really know what you can get from McCollum. Uh, I mean, McCollum's not like an elite shooting guard, kind of how DeRozan was traded last year, because DeRozan was kind of like an upper tier shooting guard. I would say CJ McCollum's like the sixth, seventh best shooting guard. Like in front of him, you definitely have Harden, Butler, Clay, Oladipo when healthy, DeRozan, Beal, and then you probably can put Mitchell and Booker over him. So then you leave him maybe Drew Holiday. So is he a top 10 shooting guard? Um, but he definitely is a borderline all star in the East. So. I'm just saying if Portland gets swept in round one or they lose in five in round one, and I'll probably do a rebuild if that ends up happening. I've done one last year as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to send untapped potential to Brandon Ingram. Um, we're going to do Lonzo Ball, and we're going to do Kyle Kuzma, the three young assets they got. They're all going to be starting for us. I don't know if I'm going to do Willard at the two or Lonzo at the two yet. I think it's going to be Lonzo at the two. Um, we'll see how that kind of turns out. So he's 6'6", so I mean... You know what? Um, you know, we'll move Lillard to the two. I feel more comfortable doing that. Uh, so we're going to have Lonzo, Lillard, uh, Ingram, Middleton as the six-man, Hart, Wagner, Johnson. Perfect. Uh, Hart's going to get, like, 19. We'll go 17, 15. Middleton, 27. Nurkic, 20, 32. Kuzma, 32. Ingram, 34. Lillard, 35. And then I want to give a little bit more to Lonzo, so hold on. So we're going to go 18, 16, 26, and then we're going to go three more to Lonzo. So first scoring option is going to be Willard. Second will be Ingram. Third will be Kuzma. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Um, fit the court and then we'll check how the Trailblazers do. Oh, and for system proficiency, Pop's a defensive guy. 
I'm sorry, Pop, but that's going to have to change to a pace in space. You're going to have to adapt to the L.A. lifestyle. Also, the funniest thing was the whole Doc Rivers to L.A. rumor. Uh, and I know Nick Wright tried pushing that. He's like, oh, if you could play with uh, Coach LeBron. Like, that was never going to happen. I'm pretty sure the Clippers just inked him to an ex uh, extension as well. And he's got to be in combo for Coach of the Year. I would say, like, him, Mike Malone. I think Nate McMillan has fallen out of it, and then it would be probably Bolnholzer. I would personally give it a Bolnholzer, but I wouldn't be mad if it went to Rivers or Malone. All right, so we end the season with a 46 and 36 record. Zion is rookie of the year for the Phoenix Suns. I would, if Zion, if the Knicks don't get the number one pick, I would be okay if like the Hawks or Suns get it because I would really like to see Zion, John Collins, Kevin Hurt, and Trey Young, and I would really like to see Booker, Aiden, and um, Booker, Aiden, and. Zion if that happens I would really think that's cool I don't want him to go to Dallas I don't really would like to s I mean it'd be really cool to see him in Dallas um I just don't want to see Kristaps get what he wants but I'm sorry for still hating on him a lot of you guys kind of hated on me last video I was just making a joke obviously like I'm mad that he requested a trade but it is what it is I mean I kind of don't blame him the Knicks have been a dumpster fire but it was a little bit hypocritical of him um now that the Mavericks are not really much better than the Knicks. Yes, they have Luka Doncic, but like still, like he was gonna be the face of the Knicks. I mean, maybe he didn't like the whole, um, all the, uh, the um, Kevin Durant talk. Uh, I don't know why I was kind of studying there, but yeah, the Kevin Durant talk. Maybe he didn't like that at all. I mean, it is what it is. It's over now. Uh, it's gonna be really cool to see him and Luka. I hope he comes back healthy. I just, I think people kind of got the wrong idea yesterday. I forgot to do that. Now he's an 89. <laughs> Um, so standings, we definitely made the playoffs. We are the three, four, five, six seed. Uh, so that means we're taking on the three seeded Rockets. Ugh, probably not gonna have. All right, probably not gonna beat them. I saw they had Dion Waiters. That's an interesting combo or a team for him to be on. Okay, lowered stats go down a little bit. Um, Kuzma 18. Now Ingram might be the man out now. Okay, we might move on from Ingram. We'll see. Uh, Nurkic 11 and 12. Middleton 12 and a half off the bench. Alonzo 10 and 9. And then there's Wagner, Cam Johnson, and Josh Hart. Team stats, points per game, we settled in at 10. Allowed, we were not bad. We were 8. And point differential, we were also 8. So round one against the Houston Rockets. Can we pull off the upset? We win game one. I mean, we do have Damian Lillard to carry us. 25 in game one. Lonzo 21 and 12. Nurkic 20 and 8. Game two, we lose. Uh, we let them score 138. That's a lot of points. Game three. Third, we're down 2-1. to one. We lose by 16 at the Staples Center. And if we go down 3-1, to one, it's probably over. Damn, that hurts a lot. And we... Losing five. It is what it is. Uh, I didn't really plan on beating the Rockets, especially if we were a six seed. So we'll adjust the thing in the offseason. Probably going to move on from Brandon Ingram and maybe a, a piece or two on our bench. Well, the Detroit Pistons win it all, which is uh, interesting. Blake Griffin and the Pistons beat the Suns in seven. They added Shake Milton. Okay, where does he go to school? SMU. Oh, he's actually drafted in 2018. Um, Reggie Jackson, Drummond, Gorgie Jan, Kyle Anderson, Sekou Dumbia. George Hill, unless Grant Hill came out of retirement. Damn, that's impressive. It's a five seed, too. Kind of miss, like, not seeing one seeds in the finals. I mean, what? The Cavs were, what, the four seed last year? Um, and the Warriors have been the one seed for mostly every year besides them being the two seed. I want to see, like, a six seed make the finals. I don't remember. I don't know the last time that happened, but I want to see something like that. So, we're not going to have a draft pick. Obviously, we're going to be sitting at doo -doo -doo 20. Uh, so, not bad. We can probably move up if we wanted to. The bench piece I thought about was moving, was upgrading maybe Mo Wagner on the bench. So, we do have the 20th pick. Um, I'll see if somebody falls to me. So we were able to get Precious Achua from Kentucky. I think he's actually going to be a solid overall. Could be used in a trade or something. We'll see. I got some foreign guy, Martinez, that I'm just going to have overseas for a year. So, our free agents, Ingram. Uh, I guess we're going to have to pay him a lot of money, and then maybe he'll match up some other power forwards, which could help. Uh, maybe if I can move him for Siakam, that would be huge. I might adjust that. So I'm not renouncing the rights on Ingram. Why would I ever do that? So I'm just waiting for a team to maybe throw some money at him. If not, I'll just sign him. And it looks like the Nets were ready to throw money at him. So we're going to sign him there. Siakam did sign. That's actually somebody I'm going to try to get. I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off. Siakam might be worth a little bit more. But we're going to try Brandon Ingram for Pascal Siakam. Um, do, do, do. And wait. The Raptors would require 400k. So give me, do you have a bad contract? Norman Powell, and I will give you a Chua and my first next year. And maybe Mo Wagner as well, if that will, or Bonga. Um, wow, a Chua's only one star? How is Norman Powell more? That's interesting. And I'll give you Bonga. 
Okay. What about if I go to Trade Finder then for uh, Siakam? Lillard? That's it? That's the only thing I can get Siakam for. Get out of here. Uh, so we're going to uh, just throw up Ingram and Achua in the uh, Trade Finder. I'm, I apologize if it's not Achua, then I'm really butchering it. Um, I'm just going to call him Precious from now on. And not really getting that power for what I want. I could obviously entertain Julius Randle that I think could get done. Um, and I'm looking for more of a defensive money guy than a scorer. So Julius, I don't think like Chris Jobs won't work. Uh, Blake would be interesting. Okay, I can get the reigning finals MVP. Might do that. You know what, we're going to get Blake back to LA. I don't want to trade Josh Hart though. Uh, we would acquire three mil more. Um, damn. Can I do with this guy and I'll give you Bonga? Okay, for Blake Griffin. Okay, so we just picked up Blake Griffin. We're gonna have Kuzma as the three. Um, now, I'm gonna try to move. Wait, let me see how many guys we have on our roster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I'm gonna try to move Wagner for an upgraded center. And then I'll see you guys at training camp. Charles Bassey, I would honestly rather have. Can I get Mitchell Robinson? Perfect. And I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, guys. So we're going to go to training camps here. Um, on top potential. Let's see. I want to send Kuzma. Now he's got A+. Plus. I'm going to try to get Lonzo to A+. Plus. There we go. And now Nurkic is only 26. Can I get him to A+. Plus? He's an A-. minus. Okay. I'll get him to an A. I'll take it. And then we have the two vets. Obviously, um, the all-stars in Lillard and reigning finals MVP currently in Blake Griffin. Brought him back to L.A. And let's see how we do. So coaching, obviously, this could be the Roto, uh, the Rote. Um, we're gonna go 27, 18, 18. They signed Jonathan Simmons, but no, it's gonna be Cam Johnson. Um, he's gonna get 14 a night. Okay. And now I got 17 minutes left. Let's see how I wanna do this. I wanna give 32 to Lonzo, 35, 35, ugh, 31. But I wanna give a couple more. Uh, we're gonna go 26. 17 and then we'll have two more to kuzma so first going option willard second blake third kuzma um pace and space way to go and our preseason power ranking is third first and fourth so hopefully we can make it out of round one this year all right finishing up the season with a 56 and 26 record seth curry wins mvp rookie of the year anthony edwards out of georgia uh defensive player of the year anthony davis kobe white most improved igor kokoskov is coach of the year and the reigning western conference champions um already still really good because of zion of course i don't think they signed anybody but oh i forgot to check lebron killing it in uh portland still at age 36 um we'll see if they made the playoffs i don't remember if they made it last year i didn't really check i forgot to uh no willard though has been kind of disappointing here um no lakers in general and we're not gonna have any rookies so portland's the four seed we're the two seed I do want to see what Portland's record last year was. And they have John Morant. That's a, not a bad big three whatsoever. Um, they were, what were they last year? 41 and 41. Okay, we're the two seed taking on the seven seeded Mavericks. Damn, the six seed has 50 wins. Um, still pretty solid. So they got really just Luka and Chris Stops. I'll say his name now. Um, triggered enough people yesterday. Well, we're 22 and six. Griffin, 18 and about eight. Kuzma 16, and then there's Middleton, Nurkic 12 and 10, Lonzo 11 and 11 with 2.3 steals, Cam Johnson, Josh Hart, Mitchell Robinson. Team stats, points per game, we were sixth allowed, we were second, um, and point differential, we were fourth. All right, so round one against the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, let's see what happens. We are, actually, no, I didn't, no, I didn't show you guys player stats. I'm delusional. All right, we're down 2-1, great. Uh, two to two, please get out of the first round. Three to two. Come on, go to a game. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Damn, who disappointed? Bleak wasn't that good. Ugh. Do I move on from Nurk? I don't know. That is just so disappointing. So the Sixers win it all, and Joel Embiid is your finals MVP. They beat the Mavericks, so at least we lost to the team that... I guess won the Western Conference, but still, that's such another disappointing year. I don't think we even have our first round pick. I know we do. It's at 27. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Probably, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to make a trade or I'm going to try to keep it. Like, I don't know what to do. Uh, let's try to get Gregory Peterson back. And we get them both. Okay, so NBA draft time. Um, let's see. Ah, like, do I move Middleton? Is he just been, like, kind of, like, bleh? Like, Kelly Oubre. Damn. Just very handsome. Just 
No homo. Uh, Otto Porter would be an interesting pickup, but, like, is he really that much better than Middleton? I feel like not many of these guys are just like, okay, I could get Gobert. You know what? I'm going to get Gobert, and then we're going to move Nurkic to the bench as the sixth man, technically. I, I've done that. Um, so let's go to team player options, and maybe that just helps out our defense. So Blake opts in. Uh, maybe now I'm, gonna, now I'm probably going to move Mitchell Robinson for just another wing off the bench. Lonzo, Kuzma, and Hart. We have to extend all these guys. What a draft class that was for the Lakers. Um, wait, no. Was Hart 2017? Yeah, he was. Like, that is that is a success. And Willard to free agent, too? Crap. All right. So Willard, take my deal. Um, and then these guys, I'll just match it if they ever get offered. So we're going to obviously sign Willard. Nobody else got a deal yet. Um, all these guys, yeah, we're good. All right, so we get Willard on a five-year, about 30 mil extension. And then... Lonzo's going to accept an offer from the Jazz, so we're obviously going to match that. Three-year, 83. That's over 25 mil a year. Kuzma's going to get a deal from the Magic, going to sign that. And then Josh Hart uh, will sign as well. So we basically are broke after this free agency class. I'm going to move Mitchell Robinson um, for, I don't know. Hart, can you accept my deal? Thank you. Uh, we are going to move Mitchell Robinson for... Um, unless I want to move Nurkic for like a good wing player better than maybe Middleton. I don't know what I can get though. Um, Dion Waiters. Kadeem Allen. Uh, I'll probably... J Josh Green's kind of cool. But no. Maybe Hachimura. Should have just drafted him over Cam Johnson. That was stupid of me. Got my UNC bias the best of me. So I'm going to trade Mitchell Robinson. Who the hell's Isaiah Jackson? I just drafted this guy? Well, this guy looks pretty solid. All right, so what could I get? Wait, so we have one off the bench, two off the bench, three off the bench. Okay, so I'm going to package these two guys and try to get a sick wing player um, or just somebody like solid. Hachimura, I might just go Hachimura. Um, all right, give me Hachimura from Gonzaga, and I'll see you guys at training camps. Wow, I really hope they fix start today. It's been kind of broken for, what, like four or five days now? I mean, I'm not going to go through the whole rant that 2K doesn't care about my league. I mean... I'm not going to bother. I don't want to complain about it, but it is what it is. Uh, we're just going to have to use from the start of the regular season until they fix it. Uh, but I don't know if it's a problem on Xbox, which is weird. So I think it's only like a PS4 like glitch or something. So Lonzo already had A+. I don't know why I did that. Nurkic now has A+, potential. And we'll send it to this guy. Sure. He's got A potential. This guy seems pretty freaking good um, as a 27th pick in the draft. On an auto pick, too. So I'll take it. All right. So let's advance to the next season. Um, coaching, lowered ball or ball lowered Kuzma Griffin Gobert Nurkic, twenty six Hart eighteen Hachimura eighteen Jackson fourteen. That's how it's gonna go. We're gonna go thirty one to Gobert. We're gonna go thirty three to Griff, thirty two to Kuz. I don't know why I'm abbreviating their names like that. We'll go thirty five to Lowered, thirty three to Lonzo. First scoring option lowered Griffin Kuzma. Um. Still going to go pace and space, I guess. Uh, we could go seven. You know what? We're going to change it to seven seconds because pace and space has yet to get me out of the first round. So we're going to go do seven seconds or less. Um, oh, I also apologize for not using player mentorship in my realistic rebuilds. I'll have that back in my Miami Heat rebuild. I think you guys will see that on Sunday because uh, tomorrow will be the fall rebuild. And then Sunday will be the um, realistic Miami Heat. So we're number one on NBA.com, number one on 2K Sports, number three on Mark Spears. If we don't get out of round one this year... We're going to have a problem. So the addition of Rudy Gobert was pretty huge. We are 66 and 13, 67 and 13. We could end 69 and 13 if we do beat the Utah Jazz. We just blew out the Phoenix Suns by 40, who won the final or went to the finals two years ago. So I'll take that. Harden MVP. Jalen Johnson out of Duke is your rookie of the year. Jonas Schroeder, six man of the year. Eddie Davis, defensive player of the year. Murray, most improved. And Greg Popovich, coach of the year. Who was the last rookie of the year to be out of Duke? trying to think like obviously it might be zion this year um it's not gonna be who was even the best player to duke this year oh wendell carter jr or bagley it's not gonna be them obviously it's probably gonna go to luca i'm trying to think like okafor didn't win it towns won it that year i think Kyrie won rookie of the year was he the last duke player like obviously like winslow didn't win it um maybe it was Kyrie because i know tatum didn't win it wait did tatum win it Tatum, no, no, Ben Simmons won it. Okay, so maybe it was. I don't, I don't really remember honestly. Uh, Popovich was coach of the year. Let's see any Lakers. Maybe Lonzo All NBA second team uh, gets it over Lillard. Uh, but hey, Lillard finally makes one All NBA third team. That's the sideline I like to see. 
Uh, any other Lakers? Rudy Gobert on all defensive second team. I think that's going to help us out a lot. And Lonzo was there as well. So we're the one seed taking on the eight seeded Denver Nuggets, who have Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, MPJ, Evan Mobley, and Jokic, who's a 95 overall. Porter Jr. is pretty good. Gary Harris is pretty not good. And Murray is pretty good. So that's a good eight seed. Player stats. Lillard, stud. What do you shoot from downtown? 43%. I'll take that. Blake, 17.5. Six and a half, four and a half, Kuzma sixteen, Nurkic thirteen, eight and a half, Lonzo twelve and a half, twelve and a half, two steals a game, and then Gobert eleven and ten and two and a half blocks a game. And then there's Hachimura, Isaiah Jackson, and Josh Hart. Team stats, points per game number one, allowed number one, point differential number one. And if we go to stay uh standings, power ranking number one. So if we don't make it out of the first round, I don't know what to say anymore. So we're up 2-0 on the Nuggets, 3-0 on the Nuggets, and can we sweep them? Can we win in 5? Can we win in 6? Thank you. Okay. Uh, now taking on the Warriors, who still have Clay. Oh, they still have a big 4. How is that a 5 seed? I don't know, but can we beat them? We're down 1-0. 1-1. Oh, we're down 2-1. 2-2. Please go up 3-2. Thank you. Win in 6. Win in 6. Let's go. And we're moving on to the Western Garbage Finals to take on the Suns. Almost... Got the LeBron James series. That would have been fun. Is this Josh Jackson? Huh. They have Josh Jackson now. Um, but we're taking on the Suns, who have Devin Booker, DeAndre Aiden, Warren, Williamson, Markel Fultz. Okay. Bridges, Eshen Haggins, Monte or Marquis from Marcus, Monte Morris, and Alonzo Trier. Um, game one, we win. By five in overtime, 148-143. Lillard goes off. Lonzo with a double-double, Gobert with a double-double, Kuzma with a double-double, Aiden, oh my god, in 53 minutes, Jesus Christ. Game two, please go up 2-0, thank you. Um, so we went both at home, Lonzo with 16 assists, Lori didn't shoot ball well, but Kuzma did. Game three, there we go, we're up 3-0, we went in by six on the road, oh my god, Aiden's a stud. Holy crap, look at these playoff numbers, Lori 34, and can we win game four, and we sweep them. 125-116, um, Lori 34. Nice, and we're taking on the Boston Celtics. Yep, uh, they have Tatum, Hayward, almost traded LeBron here. Um, all right, do they still have Jalen? Yeah. All right, game one against the Celtics, we lose. Nice, by two on the road. Uh, no, at home. Game two, are you kidding me? We lose by five at home. Game three, we win by eight on the road. Uh, lower drops 37. All right, we need to win this one to tie it up. Oh, great. Now we got to come back 3-1. to one. How is this team beating? Oh, my God. And we're going to get blown out by them, really? Just don't blow this lead. I said don't blow this lead. Okay, thank you. 3-2. to two. Win one more game and we force a game 7. Win game 6. On the road, too. If we win this game, we're going back to LA. Just don't get blown out. Please, I have one wish. God damn it. Why? I just wanted them to be close. We're not, we're not winning this fucking game. All right, well, I'm going to do one more year. Um, I can't believe this team has yet to win a finals. It's actually pissing me off. This is why they shouldn't trade LeBron. Magic Johnson, I know you're watching this. Rob Polinka, I know you're watching this. So don't trade LeBron or this is going to happen to you guys. Um, I mean, you'll go to the finals in three years, but you're not going to win it. So I'm going to keep the team the same. I don't think I'm actually going to change anything. I just think it was kind of a fluke they beat us. And I think, I don't know, we'll beat them again if we get another round. So Hachimura, um, team player option. Any, do we have any free agents? We don't have any uh, restricted free agents. Do we have any unrestricted free agents? Uh, Aiden's there. Nurkic. And Blake. Wonderful. And I don't think we're going to be able to afford both of them. Great. Uh, let me see. Can I get both of them, please? 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 Let me sign both. Thank you. Um, I think we're good. Um, I guess it would tell me at the end of moratorium if we're not good. Um, please? Thank you. Okay. So... Uh, who the hell is this? Dante Hall, 87. Jeez. He's about to get paid. Uh, not really. Uh, Cole Anthony's unrestricted. Knox is unrestricted. All right. Um, but if I go to our front office salary cap table, yeah, we're paying a lot of guys a lot of money. Uh, we're paying one, two, three, four, five, six guys above 24 mil. We are dead broke. Same rotation as last year. It's the last year. I just want a title. All right, so I'm going to make the rotations the same. I'm just going to show you guys the preseason power ranking, and then I'll do the rotation off camera, and then I'll see you guys at the end of the fourth, and like I said, final season. Number four on NBA.com, number one, number four. 
I better get it. We better get a title at the end of this year. All right, 59 and 23. Lonzo's your MVP. Doyle Thurman, rookie of the year. Yusuf Nurkic is your sixth man of the year. Rudy Gobert is your defensive player of the year. Get to, oh my god, we almost got coach of the year. That would have been probably my most awards in a year. Not trying, like not a winning a, every award challenge. We almost got four awards in a year. Damn. MVP, six man, and defensive player of the year. We only won 59 games with our MVP, but I'll take it. Lonzo all NBA first team. Why would you skip to all rookie first team? I want to go to all NBA second team. Um, both Mavs. And LeBron is still there at the age of 38. Nice to see. Um, and then Lonzo all defensive first team along with Rudy Gobert. So, we're taking on the Grizzlies in round one. We better win it all, I swear to God. All right, Kitty Allen, Malik BZ, Marcus Derrickson. Uh, Triple J and Jonas, who's actually been playing really good for the Grizzlies since he got traded, um, at least in the offensive end. Here are the stats. Well, it's still a beast. Kuzma's kind of like past Griffin. Um, Monzo's a goddamn stud. Everyone else is cool. Um, points per game, second, allowed, first, point of virtual, first, simulate first round. Let's win it. I s if we lose in round one to the Grizzlies, 2-0, come on, let's get the sweep out of hands. Let's just get the sweep. There we go. Taking on the Warriors in round two, or Minnesota. Wow, I think the Warriors just blew a three-one lead. Um, ironic. We only won four more games than Minnesota, so I'm kind of nervous. But we're up 3-0, and give me, give me LeBron, give me LeBron, and the Blazers are gonna blow a three-one lead, aren't they? Okay, well I'm not getting LeBron probably because I said that. Pels, they win game one, we win game two, we win game three. We lose game four, three to two. Come on, win in six. Game seven. Thank you. Whew. Taking on um, another Atlantic team, the Sixers, as we lost to the Celtics last year. Uh, they won the finals two years ago. Game one, we win by five. Lillard, good stuff. It's been good in the playoffs. Game two, we win. Good stuff. Alonzo with the 30 point triple double. Seven for 10 from downtown. Wow. Two to one. Okay, we lost by two. They buddy healed. Interesting. And they have Joyce Randall. Okay, and they tie it up. Wonderful. Why is Buddy Hill turning into a god? Uh, game five, we win. And game six in the city, brother we love. Uh, the current city I live in. It looks like we're gonna be good. Okay, and we blow uh, we blew a sixteen point lead already. Um Alright, we're down by four, three minutes left. Well, never mind. Nope, nope, we Ben Simmons is so good. Uh, I'm not playing that game at all. We ended up losing. Whatever. Game 7 in LA. Please. Just get me a close game. Um, I'm not going to play it. I think, I think I'm just going to let the Sim decide this one. Alright. Alright. We're final champions. Kuzma drops 38. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Lakers are champions. Lonzo is your finals MVP. And he's the MVP. We ended up with 3, 4, 5... Almost 690s. Oh, my God. So, that was the trading LeBron rebuild. Probably not going to happen in real life, but it was a fun thing just to do in 2K. Um, drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Can we continue the 1,000 mic train? Tomorrow will be the Taco Fall rebuild. Sunday will probably be a realistic heat rebuild, like I said. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Good luck in my tourney uh, bracket. I know that's going to be Friday uh, when you're seeing it. So, it was the second day. Um, it's been a thing. So, good luck in that. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.